Joining me now is former military intelligence officer Steve Rogers. Steve, as a member of the Joint Terrorism Task Force, I want to get your reaction to this New York Times headline, which many are seeing as part of some bigger trend to try and dilute the reality that this was a jihadist attack on America. What's your read? Well, you're absolutely right. It appears that there is a pattern to try to dilute uh, this uh, vicious attack on us as time goes on. But, Michelle, I could tell you, no better person on the face of this earth could have delivered such a strong message in the way this man did. He was directly affected by that attack, and he made it very clear to Representative Omar that uh, her statements were completely out of line. She never apologized, by the way, for it. But uh, no matter what they say or how they try to dilute it, it's not going to work. In fact, it's only going to embolden those of us who love this country to make a much stronger stand. Why do you think we are seeing this disturbing trend of trying to deterrorize the attacks? Well, what we're seeing in America today, unfortunately, is a very strong socialist movement. Uh, in my lifetime, I've never seen anything like it, where uh, a, a good number of people in this country are buying into an agenda that will uh, bring this uh, country into a socialist-type government. Uh, and uh, look at uh, the fact of the matter is, is that, uh, look, we've been warned by the Israelis for years. You don't negotiate with terrorists. You don't trust terrorists. Uh, and, and look, I'm not suggesting that people like Representative Omar is a terrorist, but I could tell yeah. you this, in my view, they, they certainly sympathize with terrorist organizations. So this is on and on and on. The mainstream media has a lot to do with it, but we've got to just uh, keep our eyes open and our ears open. All right. And Steve, we thank you for your work and your service in making sure that America is safer and more secure 18 years later. Steve Rogers, appreciate it. Thank you.